Hi there, Leo. How are you guys doing? Happy February 2019. I really wish that this reading finds you well. Um, for those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Anissa from The Inner Stereo. And for those of you who have been here a long time, welcome back. I love you guys to the fullest. Um, as usual, this is going to be a relationship spread, meaning that you could always apply this with anyone in your life. It could be with your boyfriend. Look at this beautiful energy. I love it, Leo. Um, you could apply it with anyone in your life. It could be with your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, exes, crushes, fiance, family members, anyone. I am basically just going to be picking up your relationship energy in general, all right? And don't forget to also check your sun, moon, or Venus sign because for me personally, I realized that with my readings that I upload on YouTube, I resonate much more with my Venus sign rather than my sun sign. But probably because my Venus is in the seventh house, I don't know. But if it doesn't resonate, then it doesn't resonate, all right? Never try to force a reading. There's so many amazing, talented tarot readers out there for you to just click and watch. Beautiful energy. So let's talk about your energy for the now. Leo, you have to use six. Six happens after five. Five is the disruptions. So now you're feeling quite victorious as if like you've rise up from the ashes and everything like that and now you guys are extra extra in your element queen of wands queen of wands is a leo card and then you have the six of wands in here right now you guys are in your element uh, it's a good one that you keep up this energy why because as a fire sign these energies is the one that is going to be making you able to manifest everything that is good in your life when you're confident we're so super duper comfortable in your skin when you're able to be optimistic about everything is how you want to attract like maybe like a lot of money or true love coming in your way or true friendships true companionship and everything like that this is how you do it you're walking or removing yourself away from a toxic situations things that you kind of like um try to hold on for quite a while but as you can see in here this forest is already dead anyway and you're moving away we're moving away from that situations because you know regardless of how you actually want to rebuild these things it's a no-go what is the challenge of this relationship in your relationship sector you have the four of pentacles and you also have the three of swords it's fine i mean the three of swords is a feeling that is hurtful yes it is but as you can see in here these what happens is actually pushing the sun the ray of sun which was missing in the past pushing this ray of sun to kind of like come through you're dealing with somebody who has the four of pentacles attitude in here somebody who is withholding clarity or withholding informations because they're basically protecting their emotions because we have four here what they're doing could also be you know they have it informations or they're withholding it just to be used as a little bit of a weapon so they're not giving you any closure they're not giving you any clarity and they're not giving you any type of confirmations at all so if you're dealing with one person If you're dealing with one person you're dealing with somebody who is a very very fiery energy and it doesn't it, it doesn't really kind of like restrict it to fire sense only I don't really read it that way but uh, it doesn't only restrict it to fire sign but it's just somebody who is very very lively somebody who is very very adventurous somebody who has problem of sticking in one place for quite a while so that person is coming and going coming and going the nine of one's energy always have the tendency to be lured into yeah it's a general reading anyway but yeah the nine of ones have the energy of coming and going you would see i mean as as a fire sign i feel like you guys are much more fixed than aries and sagittarius it's a bit different okay you guys are much more fixed and you want them to kind of like have something to hold but it seems like it was impossible because they have the knight of wands energy in here but they were kind of like offering you something like a great offer but because it's a fire there has to be consistency there has to be um persistent type of communications encouragements and everything like that like enough air to keep this fire keep burning alive the problem with the knight of wands they usually go fast or go really hard in the beginning and then they drain themselves out the fire died down by itself you guys are much more stable so you have ace of pentacles and earth equality and there they have a ace of fire or ace of wands so it's a little bit different here their excitement they're excited you guys want something that is much more stable that could lead to ten of pentacles 
I feel like you got this realizations when it comes to them and it just makes you kind of like have a bit of trust issues and skepticism because of how different you guys are okay so you you don't want to deal with knight of wands you have trust issues here it kind of like struck into you so i feel like in the past you guys were isolating yourself a bit from them because you crave for emotional stability if you're dealing with one person there is person a who comes into your life and it's such a pleasant to see them you know what i mean because they're just so lively they're just so fiery it's something that adds up to excitement into your life and i feel like you have had high hopes when it comes to them but then person b is somebody who is a knight of wands somebody who is kind of like quite a responsible might be giving you like a lot of Playerish type of vibe and with this person that think like you find out an information or you making assumptions into your head and it's kind of like breaks and shattered this unstable thing that has been going on for quite a while and with this person you're being emotionally unavailable with them because you are sticking you're fixing into one thought and assumptions that you have towards them this person person b is how blindly optimistic and highly optimistic that you are going to be doing something to them Oh, and you have a stalker alert too. Okay, I think though in the now you guys are protecting your feelings a lot. So if you're dealing with one person, this person is seven and seven. So your still is the person who is kind of like quite doing the job. You're a very, very committed person with the Hierophant card in here. So you're trying to make sure that all the earthly matters of the relationship is being fulfilled. But emotionally, you're closing off. Okay, it's like you're there, but your heart, you're protecting it a lot. Because you have the key of cups in reverse okay this person doesn't see anything wrong i mean this person is now kind of like felt like they're being swept away by their emotional cops with you they feel like they're on top of the world and they're kind of like blindly optimistic that you still love them and you're still being emotionally available towards them the act that you're showing on the uh, surface is that you want to build something from scratch to them so presence you're there offering stabilities just like as if like you want that build something together with them but they're emotionally closing off okay you guys are looking for newer information here so this tower didn't really shatter everything if you're only dealing with one person it didn't really shatter everything you need like a new information or like a new proof or a new realizations to make you finally to make you kind of like move away now you're kind of like looking for your other proof. This pe this person actually thinks that everything is pretty, everything is all right, everything is smooth, but you guys are now protecting your feelings a lot. This is almost similar, like what sign did I do this? Was it Taurus or Aries of the month? I mean, they're willing to fight for it, though, um, Leo. They're willing to do anything about it, but I feel like... You just don't get that emotional stability that you're looking for because you're basically closing off your heart chakra a lot. This person does love you in the future. They're willing to fight. They're willing to make amends. They're willing to put in more effort and being less of the Knight of Wands that they were in the past. They they are being, I think they're being presented at a crossroad in the future that they have to either step up their game 
or they lose you forever and because they're afraid to lose you they want to mend the pieces with the ten of wands but i feel like you guys are already already cutting off this person i feel like you're going to give this person like a little bit of an ultimatum that is going to make them at a crossroads so they have to choose something they're going to step up though but it's just because you've been doing this emotional closing off from the from the past and then and then now it's getting worse especially you have this trust issues due to the past and then in the future, you're much more emotionally close enough. Okay, so make sure. So here's the thing. If you still want this person in your life, a clear-cut communication is the key. This is what I've been saying. This all along, a clear-cut communication is the key. It's also openness. You know what I mean? Because this person would... Here's the thing, there is, it's impossible in a relationship that one person is a sane one and one person is a bad person. It's impossible in a relationship that one person does not have any wrongdoings or mistakes, you know what I mean? So when you guys are having this open communications together, this person might want to ask you or nag you into doing something or they might criticize you a bit because, look, I was hurt too when you do this way. I think you're not having it in the future. So kind of like depending on if you want to work this relationship out with them or not, if you do try to listen to, you know what I mean? I understand completely that you've been hurt, but if you really want to make this work, try to listen and not be too close off with uh, criticism or whatever that they're trying to say. But if you really don't want them, that it's fine. Just cut off because you don't feel emotionally stable here anyway. And you've been closing off from way back in the past and now it's happening in the now. All right, so I think that's it for my reading for you, Leo. I really hope that you enjoyed and you find like a lot of clarity in it. I'll see you guys next week for your mid-February reading. Bye-bye.